be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I'm going to be finishing this soulful rap beat that I made here in Logic Pro 10. In this particular video, I'm going to be arranging this, vid uh, this beat into song format. So first thing that I do when I'm doing that is I'm just going to actually listen to the beat and just think about what part is going to be going for what section of the song so for instance if i'm listening to this this melody right here i'm like okay is this just gonna these these two parts the bell and the, and the vocal part is that going to be in the intro and the outro is it going to come in with this bass and, you know the snare kick and stuff like that is that going to actually be um added in at this part of that part whatever but i'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a demonstration of what we got going here and then we're gonna go ahead and actually Arranges the song format. Let's check it out. All right, so so that's pretty much going to be what we're working with here. One thing I'm going to say here is the first things first. I really like this soulful. So I really can't, I'm thinking that this is going to be something that's going to only be in the hook, okay? So that's when I would say the easiest way when it comes to arranging your music into song formats or your beats into song format, you want to identify like what sound, one sound or a couple of sounds is going to be in the hook. Once you do that, it's going to make everything else uh, pretty easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and highlight everything, push Command R a couple times just to extend this out some. And what I'm going to be doing is muting uh, some of these things in the uh, some of the tracks here within the workspace window as I go I could go ahead and delete it you know there's a lot of other producers that just delete it but I just like to mute it out so I can actually um, you know have more control over it so for instance for the actual um, intro since I know that the uh, vocal part is only going to be on the hook I can mute that out okay cool so and I also can say like all right what's going to be for the the hook all right if the hooks eight bars or whatever i know that these bars are going to be for the verse and pretty much if i delete that i can just copy and paste everything else once i get the the hook the verses um and the intro together so let's check this out i think i'm going to go ahead and take all of the drums out of the of the uh, intro as well and let's just listen to it as it is this sounded pretty dope as far as just having this as the uh, hook but I think that we could do something a little bit more to bring this hook out one thing I could do is go over here to these bells which is the main part of the song and I can just double this track by pushing command D then I'm gonna use option and drag this guy down right here double click on it and I'm um, pretty much I'm just gonna make this go up an octave so we're gonna just push shift option and then push the up and now that created like a whole nother little dimension to this beat. So pretty much now it's going to start off like this. But when it comes to the hook, the two things that are going to for sure pop in to make this hook sound, uh, sound very pronounced is this uh, high pitched bell and then this, vo uh, this vox right here or vocal. Um, another thing I like to do or I think that people should do is just drop out the kick in the first part of the verse. And in the second part, that's when you can bring that back in. So that's what we'll do there. And then what we can also do is maybe even take this guy and bring him over here. My bad. And we're gonna mute him out. And this uh, this for this just for purposes of looking here. I know I don't have to do this, but I'm just gonna do it like that. So now what we have here is um over here. Let's 
just gonna go ahead and edit this just like this. Leave a little bit of space at the end here. And highlight it. Command R a few times. Now, one tip here when it comes to this, if I want to identify quickly what's what, it's gonna be easy if you go ahead and go to your tools and then go to your colors and color code the different sections of the song. So for instance, these are my hooks. I don't want, I don't want too many more hooks than that actually. Or no, we have two verses, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's say that those are gonna be this light blue color. Let's say your intro is gonna be this green color or this color right here. And it's, let's say that your uh, verses are gonna be like, you know, orange or something. All right, so that makes it a whole lot easier to identify what's what in your song. So I'm gonna hold down option, drag this all over like this. I'm gonna do a time check. So that's more than enough. I really could probably make this be only two minutes long really, but we'll do three verses in and out type stuff. So now pretty much this is the song, man. I mean, this is a simple way to do this. Obviously, you're gonna to wanna to come in here and maybe do certain other things to it. You could switch up the drums, you could switch up a whole lot of stuff, but pretty much we have everything put together. So let's listen to it all the way through here. As I'm listening to this, that's why it's good to do that. Like listen to it a couple times. I do want to have this Vox in here, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and do Command D, double this, and we're going to bring this Vox here on both of these second parts of the um, hooks. Control M to unmute it. And what I'm going to do on this particular Vox is come to my uh, EQ. And I'm just gonna take like all of the highs out of it. So now what will happen is you'll still hear this vocal, but it will be more pronounced in the hook. So let's check this one out.
And that's just some basics on actually arranging a soulful hip hop beat or rap beat in Logic Pro 10. Now there's a couple other things we obviously could do on here. We could change up the drums, certain parts. Um, there's a lot of different things we can do to make this more spicy. But I just wanted to give y'all a basic tutorial on you know what you could do to arrange your beats in the Logic Pro 10. But thank you so much for watching.